One of the easiest ways to create a video without showing your face is to make a voiceover video. It's a production technique that uses just your voice in the video covered by B-roll. In this video, I'll show you how to create this type of content in an online video editor called WeVideo. I'm Cheryl Tan with Cheryl Tan Media. We help startups to Fortune 500 companies build their media authority and communicate better on video. Subscribe to this channel for content that will help you connect with your audience, share a clear message, and give you strategies to create content consistently. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon and you won't miss a thing. One of the main reasons people hesitate getting on camera is because they don't want to get on camera. Or maybe they're just not dressed for the part on the day they want to create video content. You can still create compelling videos without showing your face. It takes a little bit more planning if you're going to go this route, but don't let fear of the camera keep you from creating invaluable content your audience is asking for. You'll need something to record your voice on, like your laptop or cell phone. And then you need to be able to upload that audio so you can edit it into a video that is covered by B-roll. B-roll is simply the supplemental video footage that people will see while hearing your voice. There are so many editing platforms you can use and any of them can work well. If you don't use WeVideo, no problem at all. Know that the one you're using is probably pretty similar in functionality. I like using WeVideo because everything is in the cloud, meaning I can upload audio and video clips from my phone and then work on the video editing project on my laptop. Or I can edit something on one computer, close it up to work on something else, and then come back to my WeVideo editing project on another computer right where I left off. If you're working with different clients or moving from office to office, it's nice to be able to access what you need anywhere you have an internet connection. The first thing you need to do is figure out what you want to say, whether you come up with a script or talking points. It's important to have that dialed in before you start this process. It's much less frustrating this way. I have a video script template you can use to help you determine what to say in any of your videos. It's called the Message Clarity Method, and you can download it at CherylTanMedia.com slash framework. I'll also put the link to get it in the description box. Let's say I was creating a video that was walking you through the message clarity method, which I actually do have. I'll put that link in the description box as well, and you can watch it after this video. I'm going to take you inside the Wii video dashboard now so you can see what that process of creating a voiceover video looks like. The first thing you do is log into WeVideo and in the dashboard, click new, this blue button on the top left. You can see in the drop down there are some options. We want video and this particular voiceover video I'll save in a folder entitled My Videos. I click on start editing and I'm going to show you these three options right here in blue. Import is one we'll use later to import our B-roll, which is what you will see while you're hearing my voice in this particular video. We could record the screen and that could be something we do in the future because you can record the screen while hearing your voice and that could be a video that you use. But in this particular case, I'm going to click on narrate because I just want my voice to be heard and I don't want to record the screen. So I'll click on record and remember, I'm shooting a video that will help you understand how to use my message clarity method. So I'll do this very quickly. I'll pause a moment and say in this tutorial, I'll show you very quickly how to use my message clarity method. It is a framework you can use to create clear and succinct videos every single time. It focuses on my PST framework. PST stands for Problem Solution Transformation. And that's it. So it's a very short video. It's not that self-explanatory, but for purposes that we have here, it's just fine. I'm going to click on stop. And if I wanted to, I could play this and listen to it to see if this is what I wanted, but I'm just going to click save. And what we video will do is it will put this in a new video for me. And you can see it's right here. What I just recorded is here on the voiceover line. And all I need to do now is listen to the audio, cut out what I don't want, and then add B roll here on the video one line. So I'm going to listen to what I said. You understand how to use my message clarity method. So I'll do this very quickly. I'll pause a moment and say, 
Okay, so remember I paused and I'm gonna click into the clip and you can see I've made it orange. There's like an orange uh, rectangle around this clip. And say it. Okay, and I am where I paused. I'm going to click right here. You can see the scissors and highlight the part I don't want. I'm that part right before I paused. I'm gonna hit delete and then move my clip all the way to the left. So the first thing you hear is, In this tutorial, I'll show you very quickly how to use my message clarity method. See, so that's the video we just recorded when I clicked this narrate button. So now my job is to cover this piece of video with B-roll. And earlier I went to Canva and I downloaded my message clarity method. It is just a PDF, which I used the import button. I clicked this import button and then I uploaded my message clarity method, which is right here. So all I do is I drag my piece of video B-roll here into the video one line. You can use pictures, you can use other videos. In this case, I'm just going to use this PDF as B-roll, but I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do to switch it up a little bit, to make it a little bit more visually interesting. In this you can tutorial, see right here, I'll show you very quickly how to use. There's not much to this. It's just a simple PDF and I can actually just stretch this PDF. So that's what you see for the length of this 27 second video. <laughs> not very exciting, but this is just to give you an idea of some of the things you do. So, or some of the things that you can do to spice it up just a little bit. So what I can do is I can in five sec in the five in five seconds in here on this video clip, I'm going to click the little scissors and remember I'm, uh, I've pressed the video one line. That is where the PDF is and I've split the clip. And what I can do is I can double click on the part that is split and I can zoom in. I can zoom in a little bit on this PDF. And now when I click Save Changes, you can see it goes from a full length shot of this PDF. My message clarity method. It is a framework you can use to to something that is a little bit more zoomed in. So it is the same PDF, but a different view of it. So I'm going to move forward a few seconds click the scissors here and I'll double click on the part that is orange and I'm going to zoom in again, right? Zoom in on this part of the video. So now my viewers get to see a little bit of a different angle <laughs> of this PDF. And so let me show you what it looks like here. So I'm going to show you the changes. It starts out on this wide my shot. Message clarity method. It is a framework you zooms can use in to create clear and succinct videos every single time it focuses. Okay, so there it is. Still not very exciting, but let's say I wanted to add some different video, another piece of B-roll here on this video one line. Let's say I wanted to use <laughs> this right here. Let's say I just wanted to add this piece of B-roll, which does not make sense for this particular voiceover video, but I'll just add it. So I will move this the rest of this. So I'll move this piece of B-roll and um, make it so it stops at 14 seconds. And then I'm going to move this other piece of B-roll that I just pulled down from my media files. You can see it's just an interview of me and someone else. And so I will cut this clip down to where we're talking here. And so remember, I'm talking in this voiceover line. I wanna make sure that there's no audio that anyone else can hear. So I'm gonna go here to the audio track and I'm gonna lower it so you can't hear us talking because I'm already talking here. And all I'm gonna do is end this video clip so it ends right when I stop talking. And so you can see this is our video right here. It's not very put together, but I just wanted to show you different things you can add to your voiceover video to make it a little bit more complete. So just listen. In this tutorial, I'll show you very quickly how to use my message clarity method. It is a framework you can use to create clear and succinct videos every single time. It focuses on my PST framework. 
PST stands for Problem, Solution, Transformation. There you go. That is our video. It was 18 seconds long. I know the rest of it was just me talking, so I cut it off there. And you can see it has the PDF that I mentioned. It has a little bit of B-roll. I'd love to hear some of the imaginative things that you use in your video to make it more creative. So again, not using your face, but hearing your voice and creating a video that I know your audience will adore. If this video was helpful, please let me know. I'd love to hear how you will use this type of video in your business in the comments below. And if you want some tips on how to show up better on camera, watch this next.